Hi everyone, Megan Swope here from Two Minute Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to correctly create recurring events on Google Calendar, which is a fantastic feature whether you are talking about remembering annual birthdays, remembering to make a monthly payment, or remembering weekly tasks at your job, such as filling out progress reports, etc. Let's take a look. So the first step in creating a recurring event is to begin by creating a singular event, either by clicking cre the create button or simply clicking somewhere inside a particular date on your calendar. From here, your best bet is to immediately click the more options button, where you then have the full options for your recurring event. So you're first going to give your event a title. So I'm just going to call this recurring event. And you're going to set the initial event date and time as if this were a one day event. So if I want this event to recur, let's say on Fridays at 9 a.m., I'm going to set this first occurrence for Friday, June 26th at 9 a.m. That is oftentimes the biggest mistake people make with recurring events. This first date and this last date should match. You are then going to click this little drop down menu next to does not repeat. And you can choose to either have it repeat every day, weekly, monthly, annually, or every weekday, or you can click your custom recurrence. So I'm going to show you the custom recurrence because that is the one that gives you the most options. So for instance, maybe I have a recurring event that needs to repeat every Tuesday and Friday. I have the choice to end this event never, on a particular date or after a certain number of occurrences. So perhaps this is an event that's going to span the duration of the summer for me. So I'm going to choose to end this event on August 28th and I will then click done. I can also add in a description, which can be directions, links, anything. It can be, I can add a location. I could add a Google Meet conference that would propagate to all events in this series. And I can invite guests as I would to any normal event. Once I'm finished, I'm simply going to hit save. And you will now notice if you look at my calendar, this recurring event now appears every Tuesday and Friday all throughout the summer, ending on August 28th. So again, this is an incredibly useful tool. I use it all the time in both my professional and personal life to keep abreast of the events I need reminding of. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me at Megan at TwoMinuteTech.com. Please follow us on Facebook or Twitter, and please subscribe to us on YouTube. Have a great day.